This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by recent Indie Mayhem show guest Tom Liturgy is doing a class at the Community College of Allegheny County, The History of Professional Wrestling in Pittsburgh. Find out more information on our link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. From the Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 591, Tuesdays that we've been celebrating professional wrestling here in some fashion in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and we got a hell of a crew with us this evening. First of all, he's uh, coming at us from Monroeville, PA. He is the Riz. I'm back, sort of. He is back. Hello, I'm the Riz. Back. Hello, the I Riz. I haven't been here in years. Well, I mean, it's been like a couple in, months. Years. In years, and sort He still has the same cough. Same cough who, I've had for years. Who do you have behind? Who do you have behind you for the people uh, on video wondering <clears throat> who that fellow is on your shelf? Who is that if elf you, on your shelf? If you don't know who this gentleman is, but well, they, they can't because it's only seven. It's yeah. It's. Is that better now? It's a small screen. Who is that? It's a sm- very small screen. And for the audio but, people, since we just made a big deal. Of but this man has a huge heart. He does? Is that young George Lucas? It is the one, is the it? only, Bob Ross. Ooh. Ooh. Happy little Riz. Happy little Riz. Painting Happy some, little Riz. Painting some little trees. And he's going Fantastic. right back up here. He's going right up there. Keep me safe. <laughs> See, watch me while you sleep. <clears throat> <laughs> well this isn't yeah technically yes yes technically. i have i have it may not be bobby sized but i do have an army that watches over me while i sleep that's creepy um all right yeah, moving on to so somebody that works on creepy <laughs> things it's larry with us hi you do work on creepy things though from Sometimes, time to time yeah maybe maybe occasionally occasionally i don't want to talk about it you don't want to <laughs> Hi. How's 205 Live so far? Uh, my phone is almost dead. Oh, well, but, well, well uh, we have the, plugs. The, we have electricity the here. The opening segment was good. Oh, good. And and enthusiastic, I see. En- enthusiastic. Uh-huh. It was good and enthusiastic. Okay. <laughs> Larry, thank you very much You're welcome. Uh, for that rousing introduction. Also with us, of course, Chad the Shad. How you doing? He's he's retired the Enzo hair, and now that he's lost the belt. Yeah. It's, it's, actually, yeah. it's actually kind of this... this, this um, you know, kitty you see in the background over yep. here. So when he had the belt on, I wore the Enzo there hair. You go. But I have to. He's a bandwagon. I have fan. to chase the hair now. That's what we do now. <laughs> so I mean, are we gonna, it. is it going to be like a, a hair on the on a pole match or or Could be. you know, a rat tail? This is stuff gets be. everywhere. You know, I don't mind it not getting everywhere. It'll adorn it's my floating. head. It's floating. It's floating. It's like it's. How does fake hair have dandruff? I, I don't know. It's fake dandruff. It's, I don't it's, know, it's, it's, it's synthetic dandruff. Good on Amazon. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? It's Saucy. the ref. How, Ron How Hunt is doing? with us. What's up, Current guys? RWA tag team champion. Uh, and he's made it from the woods of West Virginia yes. on his movie shoot. Through the fires and all. Through the fires <laughs> of, of all. And all. Yeah, so last time you were here, you were going to be here. Yeah. We you didn't make it. No, you no, you sent us a not. picture. We were going we were saying, hey, we gotta come up with a good reason why you're not here and have some fun with it. Then you sent us the real reason, which was there was a trailer fire and they completely locked up 79. So I put my car in park and I start running up the road like I was Ric Flair and wooing. <laughs> so I got here. Yes, you did. I watched the show for my car. So. <laughs> I was sad I wasn't here though, but I, I did miss you guys. First time, first time on the set, I love it. First time on the set, we have a much better set for you to be on. This so is, it's good to see. This is, Thank you so much. Take, take this couch. Home. No, 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 no. We, we we carry that up four blocks. This is this is the couch from the Daily Show. What? This is the first purple couch it has. True, it was on every single show. What? Yeah. Daily. You don't know this, Riz? Yep. You don't know no. this? No. Couch, no. couch has a lot of history. Yeah, it does. It does. A lot of things have happened on that couch. Uh oh. 
Um, oh man. <laughs> okay, okay, Sorg. Yeah, geez. I think Virgil has slept there once. So. Potentially, Virgil slept <laughs> everywhere in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everywhere and on probably everyone. And if he what? Oh geez, <clears throat> sleep you heard me. For you. Oh geez, uh, this is a wrestling mayhem show that, where we eventually we it. eventually talk about professional wrestling, <laughs> um, and not just talking about uh, couches with a professional wrestler like the Rev. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you can check us out. We're here live every Tuesday at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com, Facebook Live, and stream at a bunch of other places, including YouTube, uh, Twitch now on Sorgatron Media, and Periscope and Twitter on our Mayhem Show account there. Uh, but the main one, of course, is on Facebook Live. There's a big chat room uh, rocking right now, 15 deep with Wheels, Alex, M, Tina, uh, other Alex, I think, is in there. Candace is in there tonight, John Clark, Russell uh and uh dave dave potter who i ran into last week actually he was at one of my jobs <laughs> the small small world and mad mike hanging out there what's up flap dog 316 by the way very revealing because on awesome cast we were asking people's aim screen names um i would love to hear yours as well here especially the wrestling crowd here um so please please drop that in maybe i'll get to those after we do our intros uh you can check out everything at wrestling mayhem show.com subscribe to the show on itunes stitcher speaker iheart radio and the google play podcast uh section i guess on the app um check out the video versions on the facebook and the and the wrestling mayhem show youtube page including all the other fine shows we do like indie mayhem show the midweek war and the raw wrap up you can also uh please uh subscribe and leave comments on especially itunes that's very helpful to get the mayhem nation out there and uh thanks to our streaming partner the 405 media.com who last i knew is still carrying us at 9 p.m eastern time every day i'm sorry 9 p.m pacific time Midnight Eastern Time, if you want to get your dose of mayhem every day, you want to hear the silky smooth tones of Chad the Shad. Nope. Nope. There he is. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they are silky. <laughs> or they're smooth. Or the sound of his dancing. Uh, also, uh, also hey, silky smooth. Also silky smooth dancing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we, right. Was it, Larry? Weren't we trying to get you to do the dance the other day too? Yeah, but I'm not that graceful. No, no. So. There he goes. <laughs> yep. I just don't you have a lot hair of, on. You got a no. lot of viewers today, Sorg. I don't want to scare them away. Oh no! Oh no! Or maybe they'll come back. You never know. Um, and also, uh, producer of the show, Missy, is here as well. She's, she doesn't have a camera, but she's waving. Um, just, just a shout out. Just you know, you know, she's she's present. And everything, and keeping me straight, as in uh, also giving a shout out to our friend and Patreon supporter and 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 uh, buddy on the show, Alex Cars. Um, he is a, a all around awesome web guy, and he's helping actually helped us with Indie Wrestling US getting it off the ground, and he's uh, helping to save Tatas this month, guys. You may have noticed that uh, breast cancer awareness promos with uh, Dana Warner, and you know all those pink ropes and everything like that. Uh, for the month of October, Alex is donating, donating all benefits from merch sales from his Occupy Pro Wrestling store to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Uh, you can check out all of his stuff, the uh, Occupy Pro Wrestling section of whatamaneuver.net. And links, of course, over on Occupy Pro Wrestling as well. He's got some fun stuff over there, um, including his Legends of the uh, Lucha Temple that he wore on Lucha Underground that you may have noticed a couple months ago on that program. Um, and I might be sitting beside him in those. Uh, so go check those out. If you've been uh, thinking about getting some shirts, um, <laughs> Wrestling Explains It All Smart, and he's got a pretty cool... Um, he's got a pretty cool Smarks Shield style shirt as well on there too. So go pick it up. He's donating all that stuff to save the Tatas. And also thank you to our Patreon supporters. Um, of course the fan of the show level guys, Bo Diggity, uh, Ed Burke, Alex Cars, Bobby F J Town, and the Pocket Club five dollar level. Those guys get the gold. Uh, extra recordings that we do, uh, Tina Keys and Christopher Bishop. And at the Pizza Club $10 level, he just received a new state of the show, including all that other stuff. It is uh, Billy Johnson, because there is something good in West Virginia. Rev. <laughs> Rev. I, still don't, I still don't believe it, but no. I'll, I guess I'll believe you now. <laughs> <laughs> and also great bonfires and also not only that <laughs> we do have the twenty dollar uh we do have the twenty dollar um uh special uh, uh, uh 
with manager level. Sorry, I forgot the title. Uh, you could be the Paul Bearer, Miss Elizabeth of the show. Uh, you also receive a special listing on show notes as well as a special exclusive additional la- download from our partner at IndieWrestling.us. And I made a deal. I'm going to extend it to this show because I think some people on this show may miss it as well. But if we get a $20 uh, Patreon supporter on either Wrestling Mayhem Show or Awesome Cast here before the end of the month, we will be bringing the brick wall into the studio in some fashion. Nice. It may not go here, but it will be in here. And we'll take some pictures in front of it. Maybe we'll sign it with our guests or something. Uh, <laughs> but that the challenge has been laid out. And if you do it for Wrestling Mayhem Show, you're going to get a free digital download from IndieWrestling.us. <laughs> All right. And oh, I forgot to say, you can also contact the show at that email address. Good times. Good times. Good times. I caught while Larry wow. was coughing. <laughs> oh, good now times. now Larry's coughing. I turned my it's, mic it's, off. Yes, you did. <laughs> good times at wrestlingmanship dot com or four one two two zero six W M S zero. I'm so glad we have mics with switches on them now. <laughs> yes, so am I. You're moving on up, sword. Moving on up. Um, yes. So uh, the big news for this week is hell in a cell. Heck in a sec. Heck in a sec. <laughs> There were no kids thrown off the hell. Oh in the cell. man, there was somebody. Uh, there was somebody. I made a bold prediction last week. You did. You did. And uh, I was sorely let down. People were very. What, what, what was it? It was our guest. No, yes, yeah. Honey Badger was on Facebook. Very disappointed that no children were involved in this match. She yeah. was very disappointed that no children were harmed in the course of this match. You know, that was, I, I, be- I believe it. That was my wild prediction for Hell in a Cell. Mm-hmm. That Kevin Owens would just get Shane's kids and just throw them off the cell. I think like my my I feel yeah. like my prediction was that like Gene Snitsky will make it like surprise return and boot a, <laughs> and boot a baby off the top of the cell. I mean, it wouldn't be his fault. No, uh, not at all. <laughs> not at all. It wasn't his fault. Huh. But what, what did you think? So we had, you know, uh, our Hell in a Cell representation was Kevin Owens and, 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 and Shane. And, of course, the tag team match, which seemed yeah. brutal. Um, there was a, We had a new friend actually join us uh, for, for watching the show here on Saturday night or Sunday night. And, uh, and it was just like, I don't know if there's much match to this with a tag team match. But I think like as far as an interesting, brutal, weapons-based Hell in a Cell, I thought it was really really good rev you're involved in a lot of pretty wild matches lately <laughs> how do you, i mean the last one you're involved one had a scaffold and and the end of show almost caused a riot yeah uh, so. when, when when doesn't it when, I, I think i think uh within about the last five months i probably have the record for most riots started at an indie wrestling uh, company i mean, I mean you're, you're you're kind of in competition with marshall gambino at this point aren't you that's an honor I mean, <laughs> kind of a dubious honor, unfortunately. But uh, and Marshall will be here in a couple of weeks, by the way. <laughs> but uh, but I don't know. What did you think about that plunder in that match? That was uh, which one, mine or no, 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 the Hell in the Cell match with the with the tags. There, you know, you know, my my thing, my thing is with this. I mean, there comes a time where good old fashioned, just straight wrestling is good, and then there comes a time where you need to get violent. And uh, I think that's mm-hmm. a time where it comes right there, where every now and then you need to get a little bit of a little bit of violence. Clearly, as you know, in my match, it's just all about keeping the titles and doing what you got to do. And uh, it's a dog fight, especially when you're in a cell. It's like being in jail. So really, next year it should be jail in a cell or something like that, in my opinion. But, you know, when you're in that cage, everything goes. So uh, I was thoroughly entertained by it. And uh, I must brag on one of my guys that actually does a, uh, a monthly paper or bi-weekly pay-per-view thing i guess with so many pay-per-views uh i got every single pay-per-view prediction right except for like one match so i I was pretty excited about that which match uh i think it was a shelton benjamin match it was was a tag match with them was it it something well you're going with the high pros on that one yeah Mm. Mm. yeah Mm. i don't know why but (laughs) (laughs) how were they not broken up yet uh, it's that I, brotherhood, man. I mean, there's I feel like t- there's not enough time in the show to break them up. It's just too much we hype, need, bro. We need that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can't overcome the hype. It's just it bonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stay hype, man. I, you know, tonight on SmackDown was the most of Shelton and, and Gable I've seen. I don't know why I keep missing their matches, seeing parts of it, getting distracted, and that is the most <clears> I've seen of those two. <clears throat> but glad to see them there. And also weird that our prediction of of a new team angle kind of went off the rails but kind of happened at the same time 
by his stepsons. By via st- <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like at least one member is one member is very much team angle by jeans, and and the other member is teaming with the old team angle, the one that doesn't piss everybody off. Uh, you know. Yeah. Because Charlie Haas was calling the crowd pretty interesting names last time I saw him in Pittsburgh. At <laughs> I, mean, I was sitting with a guy that got a very direct comment from he, from Charlie Haas. He, got, he has good heat. He has good heat. No, he was really good at being very angry at people. So, um, but no, and actually, it was a lot of fun when he was uh, doing that with Ring of Honor too. Um, but still, like, so so, I'm glad to see that's going. I think they won. They won the match tonight uh, to to take on mm-hmm. uh, the Usos. Yeah. Loving the respect stuff from like it, it feels a little bit like that first TLC or ladder match I guess with um with um uh, the Hardys and Edge and Christian a little bit, um mm-hmm. and and to see them saying no 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 Breeze Angle is cool tonight was was yeah. kind of fun. They're big, they're big they're big fan of it they're a big yeah. fan of it you know that I want to get I want to get some series of uh, I just want to watch like it's Law and Order I just want to get like every series for like a whole season of taping <laughs> from Breezango. And I think I'll be satisfied. That'll it, be my Netflix for the that year. That should be a yeah. collections. Yeah. It should, it should be a fashion collections. police yeah. collections. Like, 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 like whenever it. next time they do like kind of a, a a skits collection that includes like Fuji Vice all the way up through <coughs> Breezango's <coughs> Fashion Police, right? Um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> we all remember Fuji Vice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, and, and of course we had the um, Daredevil Shane. Um, oh boy! Yep. Oh boy! Shane needs to stop. Shane needs to stop. Absolutely Shane not. We're just stop. getting started, man. That dude's elbow accuracy. I mean, what else just... can he jump off of that will not? A, a, heli- a helicopter. Yeah. Well, he, he now we need it on that. onto the Hell in a Cell though. Like I like I, yeah. I predicted it before we got on the air. It needs to be WrestleMania Hell in a Cell match, and he flies over the stadium, jumps from the helicopter. <laughs> Right through the cage. There I, we go. I feel mm. like that's a, that's his way of rebelling against his wife. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like he's a, he's wow. got like he gets Jeez. to fight that home. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna jump off the cell just to piss you off. <laughs> I'm gonna bottle all this up and then <laughs> forget I'm paying miss, the bills. Uh, I'm jumping. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. miss an elbow. <laughs> I'm gonna miss, you know, no, that's just that's just poor aim. No, it's not intentional. His his aim is terrible with an elbow. <laughs> that he cannot. His elbow to eye coordination is yeah. really <laughs> off. Well, he the, missed the Undertaker with his elbow. It's really and high up. That that table's tiny from twenty feet in the air. I guess he doesn't get yeah. his wind speeds right. Maybe he's got to lick yeah. his thumb, stick it out before he takes a dive. He's God forbid a something. beach ball comes in the way. <laughs> Cesaro, <laughs> Cesaro, off a whole tra- trajectory, or some kids, or some kids. <laughs> Cesaro will snag that beach ball before it even gets close to the ring. That's, doesn't matter. With, with thigh board, ripping <laughs> apart. Jeez, um, I'm imagining all of this stuff. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no. But we, we, you know, we had a lot of fighting on top of the, the cage, which I feel like we haven't had for a couple of years wasn't there Man. one year like didn't Heyman go up in a forklift or something one time no like way. in recent in recent yeah. years yeah that's a yeah. thing that happened and i kept like popping in my head who's in the when they got out of the cage i i brought right back and right? cm punk right back and cm punk that was that one that was that one wow which i think was I maybe didn't... first shield appearance right no you need to watch that no, 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 that was a different one because i don't think there was a cage then. i i thought somebody was going through the middle of the cage yeah i did like they kept fighting on the one side, yeah. So I was waiting for them to go yep. one cage, like one square over. Like that was the one that yep. was that was uh, gimmicked. That was so really like, high up. <laughs> I was waiting for like the one just oh a bump on this one and then pow. We were we were doing right a lot down. of like like somebody uh, was it you Larry or or somebody else that says hey they haven't gone over to those squares yeah, over yeah. there yet. Yeah. Like like they're avoiding them or something. Like you're kind of like. Eh. Yeah, it could be it, worked, right? It, so, but yeah. of course, they didn't come through. But I mean, I, the, you, I, I was nervous. Like, <laughs> I'm like, they, I don't know if that they took that, some heavy bumps yeah. up there. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that's a long way to fall. Yeah, so. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if you want another uh, Undertaker Mankind moment. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't, I don't quite. That'd know if you probably want that be worse than that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if anything, I would expect that if they ever did uh, Braun Strowman and Big Show, Hell in a Cell on top of the cage and. Some type of suplex through the cage. Well, you you saw how heavily reinforced that scene was. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, it it would have held them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's amazing how much bigger that cage has gotten too. Um, yeah, uh, it was pretty massive. 
Um, was there any other? Uh, <laughs> was there any other uh, non cage non cell matches that you guys <laughs> kind of uh, uh, stuck out to you from this weekend? Um, I the triple threat match I thought was fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Corbin getting the U.S. title, but I mean I thought it was a little different. Mm-hmm. Um, AJ carried most, you know, most of the yeah, match, right. but uh, it was fun. It was different. It was, it was a little uh, 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 away from the other matches that were already on the card. So mm-hmm. uh, it was a nice little refresher, nice little palate cleanser in front of everything else. The women's championship uh, match was really good too. Yeah, it wasn't that. bad. The ending happened. I thought that was. I mean, you're gonna get that ending. Yeah. I haven't seen. So I many think they're gonna keep going of, with Natalia that I've liked, but that was a good one. <laughs> I just I'm not a fan of hers, but it was that that was I like that one. I think that feud has some legs. It's yeah. gonna go for a while. No pun intended. I, 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 was, I was about <laughs> to say. <that. laughs> Um, it's from Alex in the chat. He's saying, uh, but back to the Hell in the Cell match. There was falls count anywhere. He wanted to see the pinfall happen up there on top of the cage. And I was waiting for that ref to come up. Mm-hmm. When is the last time that we've got that, though? Well, the, well you haven't had a false He wasn't anywhere, having right? any of it. No, they were no. going up, and he's like, I am like, going up there. Ref gave up. The ref's like down in the ring. Like I think I can see his shoulders are down. <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's above his pay grade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. climbing. <laughs> Get out of here. Jeez. You should pull some mini binoculars out. This looks up. Yeah. <laughs> Starts counting down there. <laughs> yeah, it said false count anywhere. Not uh, that the referee will play along. Yeah. So, uh, but also, uh, like, like, it's I, not refs count anywhere. No, no, it's it, false count. Anywhere. It's <laughs> like they were solving the problem, weren't they? That uh, because we did kind of the same thing with Undertaker at WrestleMania, but then he had to drag him into the ring, yeah. mm-hmm. which was enough time for him to like kick out or something from yeah. that, right? So, which I, I, I felt like they were just kind of trying to solve that kind of problem they they figured out like oh, that's pretty dumb ain't it guys yeah we should just pet yeah. them anywhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> why don't we think of this 20 years ago <laughs> well so, yeah i guess so yeah. I, like, I mean case, shane, man, I shane might have you know yeah broken his neck or something maybe we shouldn't have kevin or sammy to drag him by the neck into the ring and just have him just lay there just have him lay there it's fine we saw the explanation with Sammy Zayn tonight. How do you guys feel about Sammy going going with his good friend tonight? I'm, I'm looking forward He's to it. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Is it is He's it gonna not be wrong could this at all. be could this be another Jericho uh Owens level kind of thing? They did say best friends. They did say best friends. Well they yeah. actually were they, they share actually locker are rooms. best friends. Yeah, they share, they locker, share locker rooms. Tonight. And we've seen how important locker room signs are tonight here off air. Uh but uh, <laughs> they they have more of a history than him and Jerrica did. Mm-hmm. A friendship with a better foundation. I don't know. Maybe Sami Zayn puts a mask on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like a generic mask of some kind. Oh, hmm. Ole. Ole. <laughs> Ole. Uh, Mike, Mike is saying uh, every WWE heel is always correct. Faces are the worst. <laughs> they are the assholes, aren't they? He's not wrong. They are. Uh, Missy, I'm sorry. I'm not miss- I'm not catching no, you're, you. You're not catching me what I'm trying to point out. Mm. Alex is talking about, I hope this heel turn gives us evil generico. There you go. At which point, Tina also chimed in, lol, yes, Alex, like evil player Uno. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. And uh, by the chance says, what's up to Rev from the chat room? What's going on, my man? How you doing? There you go. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> it was a fun show either way. Uh, and again, you know, um, everything's a spectacle. Everything's a spectacle. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Candace says Rev is boring. Can we get Duke and Gannon back? <gasps> you know, oh, oh, no. I think Rev beat him for best dress, though. Hey. You, know, you know what? I, I, I try. I try and, uh, you know, salute to them, tag team, you know, another company, but fellow tag team brothers. I love them. Uh, but on behalf of Candice, if I could just say this real quick, the Rev is not much of a lover of a lot of people, um, but I believe uh, certain people in her family got some free gear, but I will be knocking on your door to get some of that gear back. So um, <laughs> just just look for the fire. And I'll be somewhere around, somewhere around the fire. Somewhere so. around the fire. <laughs> There's a tractor trailer on fire. Some, somewhere around the fire. It's like it's you're, you're now. Sign. Yeah, it's your call sign now. <laughs> that, that's what, I, that's what I do, man. He should have, I should have taken the opportunity of taking a picture with a mask on by the fire. 
<laughs> dude, if I, see, if I see news cameras there, I probably definitely would have tried to get an interview with a mask on. Dude, they would have thought you did it. Kane has nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> Kane I don't know, has do, nothing do we on have me. The, 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 the mask is over. I, uh, you guys that maybe don't, if, you, if you're not uh, uh, no, seeing ref stuff here locally, there's this uh, pretty great mask, which is like, uh, Larry, can you grab that, that, that mask over there and hop that over to him? Um, yeah, he's stretching. He's stretching. I should really put the camera on this because this is man. Kind of is Hogan hard to work <laughs> for? Man, Hogan, Hogan is why, terrible why, to work Hogan, with, isn't Hogan, he? Hogan won't give you give what you a anything. Stiff. Man. Come on, put him Hogan's over, Hogan. Stiff. There yeah, you go. Hogan why, doesn't put anybody over. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Is, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Just <laughs> take it off. He's potato. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, take it off. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Jeez. One hundred percent creative control. That Hogan. Wow. Wow. Well, there he is. <laughs> I, feel, I feel dirty. He won't lay down for anybody. We talk about Hogan, so we're saying take it off. I don't know if I want to be a part of this he's podcast anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no way he's staying standing. Oh, sure. wow. He oh, lands. Oh, oh, the mask is off. Oh, no. He's done with this mask. Oh. It, it was brother, 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 brother. All right. Well, yeah, he's speaking of historical relics like uh, Hulk Hogan. Uh, got that Gawker money, brother. Got that brother, Gawker money, brother. brother. <laughs> if you're here in the Pittsburgh area, I want to give a shout out to uh, our friend uh, Tom Liturgy. He's a, uh, of course, he was on the Indie Mayhem show uh, last week. A great discussion with him, almost an hour talking about Pittsburgh wrestling, talking about the history of wrestling, uh, talking about his involvement with things like the KSWA and and and, and other things like RWA and PWX. Uh, but uh, he's you know from from the gardens to the grotto to Civic Arena and Studio Wrestling, PBG Paints Arena. Uh, Pittsburgh has been known for his hotbed for pro wrestling, and there's the history of professional wrestling in Pittsburgh course with Tom Liturgy, which will, will be kicking off tomorrow as of this recording on October 11th, so get in there now if you want to be a part of that. Uh, there's still time to register if you're interested. The course will review all of the people, places, and things that have defined one of the most in- entertaining sports in history in one of the in the Steel City. This is a, this is a place Bruno's been. Uh, there's been a course previously, not by Tom, but uh, uh, he was, he, I think he was at it, uh, with the history of Bruno San Martino. And, and I understand that might be coming back as well. Uh, so uh, for more information, you can check out the uh, CCAC site. That's the Community College of Allegheny County. Or uh, conveniently click on the ad on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We'll also be sharing all the link on the chat room and on our social media for Mayhem Show. Uh, so check that out if you want to be a part of it. Uh, it's a uh, forty nine dollars for the for the uh, course, and I think it's pretty cool to be uh, a part of something like this. And uh, hopefully, there's a, a strong uh, the Bruno one. I understand did really really well. So if there's a, a strong outpouring for this one, uh, maybe they're going to be do more of these. Eh. You never know. Maybe it'll be an accredited course at some point too. So uh, cool that they're doing this. It's going to be up in uh, the North Campus. Uh, I believe it's in McCandless. Uh, in the North Hills here of Pittsburgh. Uh, so go check that out. Support a friend of the show and his course uh, on the history of pro wrestling in Pittsburgh. All right. So uh, Hell in a Cell, it was a fun show. I mean, it's a spectacle. Also, I felt I felt like they were kind of uh, playing a little bit of one-upmanship, having TLC the same month from the other Fed. There was a lot of T. Uh, there was a lot of T and C in that. I from think. the other, the other Fed. The other, the other Fed. The, the yeah, fed. you know, the competition. The what other, other wow. Fed is doing TLC? <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> is there something I don't know about? I think I saw that on Impact. Yes, yeah, Ring of Honor TLC <laughs> is coming up soon, right? Right, Chad? Ah, I was, was going to say. Ah. <laughs> no, the other brand I meant. The other brand. Ah, okay. uh, but there, there definitely seemed to be a little bit of one-upmanship, especially, yeah. especially in that first match with the tag teams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, well, the tag teams put on a hell of a match on the last pay per view for Raw. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's a nice uh, little friendly competition. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Um, I, I, you know, we talked about like kind of no mercy. It felt like it kind of lit a fire under everybody, it, it, and, and you can tell they're kind of pushing themselves if and their teeth and their teeth <laughs> when things <laughs> like that happen, right? Well, uh, <laughs> uh, actually, it'll be a good question for you, Rev. You know, being a guy in the ring, um, I mean, I, obviously, it seems like these guys are pushing harder than ever, yeah. and we're seeing that with, you know, things uh, maybe not going right in the ring and, 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 and you know, broken noses, uh, blood here and there uh, during these ladies' matches like seems to be happening more and more, too. Like, is does this seem to be a symptom of maybe the pressure of maybe the brands or something like that? Or is somebody, is somebody like pep talking these guys to like just kick ass on a pay-per-view? You know, you know what? Um, the, the brand competition is definitely real. Um, I remember uh, last year I was in a particular event where, um, you know, I was, I was 
around a bunch of guys that are, you know, currently with WWE right now. And they were talking about the brand extension. And they said, I mean, it's a good way for them to still try to kind of one up each other in their perspective brand. And uh, it's definitely not a work. I mean, I mean, it's a legit thing. Who's mm-hmm. going to be better than the next person? And I think in the long run, that helps the company as a whole because they're all under one company. But at the same time, that's putting bodies at risk at, you know, a lot more of a higher speed than, you know, what it used to be this last decade or so. And uh, for a certain amount of guys, you know, they're definitely putting their body back to where, you know, guys in the late 90s, mid 90s were um, just to prove a point and say who's better, which brand is better and why they deserve to be at the top of the mountain. So uh, honestly, because of the brand split, I really think it's a good thing for viewers as well, because now you're seeing these guys really putting themselves out there now harder than if, if ever before, you know, back when we were just, everyone was on every single brand. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and, and it's helping. I mean, I, I really, I kind of compare it a little bit to um, uh, New Japan, right? Because you, yeah. you're like, what do we know for New Japan? Wrestle Kingdom, where it just is like the most balls out matches you have ever seen Only the strong survive, dude. Only right. the strong survive there. And, and, and the same with Lucha Underground. But I think you also remember, WWE has a way different schedule. Those guys are on the road. You're not going to see, you know, why isn't, you know, some, somebody said recently, every every Monday night should be WrestleMania with the talent they have. Oh, boy. But, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have about three shows max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 but you know, you, you got to stretch it out. These guys have to pace themselves a little bit. Even if you look at, well, well New Japan could do it, and they do incredible stuff. It's like, yeah, but have you watched the in-between shows where it's all mm-hmm. eight-man tags? It's not, it's not the never-way guys – chopping the crap yeah. out of each it's other not just, and, it's not just a throwing, singles match 60 yeah minute yeah man type. yeah you can throw yeah. potatoes for the one big match in front of eighty thousand fans a year yeah. right <laughs> or something crazy like the g1 climax or something like that uh, lucha underground kind of has a different thing there is no touring they show up for a taping they go balls out for a taping exactly. for two days in a month and yeah. then they're off the company so, sabbatical for a while after yeah, that. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. I mean, you can, and they go do whatever else and, and, you know, indies and, and things and, or, or, or <clears throat> international or something, right. Or, or impact wrestling for some reason. Um, you know, <laughs> and, and, and you just, you know, it's the stage at that point. Right. You yeah. know, you know, I, I think, I think that's the thing too. I mean, granted I do some crazy things, but I mean, I don't have, you know, respect of a busy schedule like the rest of these guys, that are, you know, doing this completely for a living. I think that's the time where it becomes the artwork. I remember when I was uh, when I was getting trained back in 2010, and it's still now, the thing is, less is always more. There comes a time where you have to pick and choose when you're going to throw your body to a certain capacity. Because if you do it every single time, every single match, eventually you're going to sell yourself short. You're going to run out of that bump card very quick, and your body's going to feel like you're in your 80s when you're probably in your mid-20s, early 30s. So, I mean, uh, right there, I mean, it's it's a pick and choose. But at the same time, these guys definitely know that when they're going to go balls out, I mean, there's no in, or if, end or but about it. They're going and someone's teeth are probably going to get knocked out. I mean, you can ask the Briscoe brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, they've lost a lot of teeth, haven't they? <laughs> 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 Over the years. Uh, and, and even like Ring of Honor. I mean, I guess Ring of Honor is kind of a lighter schedule. Yeah. But then, and, and I mean, their TV matches are are good yeah but yeah. they're not like they're still not that crazy out of nowhere maybe once every like maybe what two or three weeks they have a match that's like that's the ring of honor i remember yeah. right yeah. Uh, you know for me my first ring of honor show was um I, mike in the chat room is gonna help me i feel like it was final battle I, it was at the end of the year one i could be wrong because i think i pulled it out and it was like august or something but anyways it was something in like the manhattan center and of course you're seeing you have to. yeah you're seeing Nigel and and now Cesaro and Daniel Bryan and and now Seth Rollins in a four way and just the hardest hitting clotheslines I've ever seen and we're six rows back you know what I mean yeah like that's of course and it seems like I think it was the same thing then because you seemed like that because all you had were these big special events here and there that they could do that but at the same time do you feel you're going to see that type of match in a West Virginia Mm-hmm. No, not really. I mean, you, it, the the thing is, I mean, you have to you have to pick and choose your battles. I mean, when you go into a place like Manhattan, when you go into a place like a Chicago, you have to learn when you're going to throw your body to a certain capacity. I know there's a bunch of guys that's, that's probably watching right now that you know even veterans of Pittsburgh, you know, like like a Shirley Doe or um, you know like a Hentai or, or you know 
and any anyone can say it's the same exact thing because there are certain ways and certain capabilities that you can only throw your body in certain capacities. And but when it comes to that, you have to learn when to do it and when it's going to make the most sense. And uh, a lot of times when we do something, it really doesn't make the most sense, but it makes sense to us in our brain until we do it and we say, "Why the hell do we do that?" Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, it it it, c- it comes with the nature of the beast, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, speaking of some hard hitting guys, the Shield reunited this week. As we, if you were part of the group, you saw Jen Carlin's losing her shit <laughs> all Monday night. I think she's okay. She was texting me today. Oh, so she's alive. About she is alive. Okay. You know, Jen. You know, you know how Absolutely. she gets around the oh, shield. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, so she's okay, guys. I think Gilbert was telling her to calm down. Gilbert. <laughs> By the way, Gilbert is the dog. Gilbert. <laughs> 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 Just want to put that out there. So not Gilbert. Not yeah. Gilbert. Gil- although, <laughs> although, although, for for re- for Mayhem Show purposes, her dog is named Gilbert, as far Gil- as I'm yeah. concerned. Um, but anyways, <laughs> oh man, they're talking. They're talking about a lot of footage and stuff with Rev right now in the chat room. <laughs> oh boy, I don't even want to. I don't even want to look. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But anyways, um, so the Shield came back last night. It was reunion time. But I mean, but really, the most special one. And I'm, I'm sorry Bobby's not on here for this. The most special reunion last night was the 20 seconds we got of Dana Brooke and Emma. Mm-hmm. Right, Riz? Right. <laughs> well said. And Dana Brooke didn't say anything. No? She said, like, what about me? And then that was it. That was it. That was it. And also the most dubious match, right? Like the, the person that gets to get their head, head kicked in by Asuka at the next pay-per-view. It's gonna be fun. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be because you know it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen quick. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it is. Um, yeah. So no cardi. Yes, no cardiac arrest. We're okay. Uh, Mike, 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 of course, says that the Shield reunion would have been better if Roman hadn't been cosplaying as a member of the Shield for like two years. <sighs> That's crap. That's a <laughs> He's just like the guy that <laughs> held on this whole time. He, like, hey he guys, kept going. he kept going. And they, he kept they, shielding. They went he, off. And he, he was uh, the X Pac of the generation. Well, I <laughs> sorry, I did yes. make the comment yes. about uh, how interesting it was that finally we understand why he's kept the music and the look for this duration because he just knew that it was going to happen. He was like, "I'm just holding on, holding on." Vince, Vince told me to. Finally, it paid off. Yes. You know, I, I, just, I just think like he was just like a hopeless romantic. Like one day it's going to come back around and I'm going to hold on to this dream. Mm-hmm. And eventually it comes and, you know, now this this man crush is back together. This was the only time people cheered for me. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> the, the, Every the boy, day he the, put it back on. The boy band is back. You know, I think my, my ultimate bet was Roman versus John and who was really going to get booed the loudest. Mm-hmm. And I think that was uh, where a lot of people had bets at. And uh, surprisingly, I think Roman still won that. You know, I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a huge fan of his, but yeah. Billy wants the the uh, original uh, Shield music. Wait, wasn't it the same music just with Alpha <laughs> Echo, <laughs> the Shield wow. at the beginning? Alpha Zero. Echo, Alpha Echo, Shield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was just about the same. Yeah, it was, it was just the intro. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, I, I think they come Sierra, out to it. Also, just Sierra because Hotel, they, India, you know, they come out like, like a SWAT Delta, van at the pay per view. Maybe yeah. would be kind of cool. I think they're I think they're done coming out with the uh, you know through the crowd, man. I, it, you think not for the pay per view? They won't do that. I, I mean, Roman complained about how many times he was getting groped, and I mean, personally, with me, I mean, that's very dangerous. You don't know if they have a shank or something. You know, yeah. You, you get yeah, shanked in the wrong place, Roman. Man. Yeah, <laughs> you get shanked in the wrong place. It's <laughs> over. Wasn't there a video of him getting hit with a br- uh, briefcase at one point? Oh yeah, when he was in the ring. We were talking about that a couple oh, episodes ago. We need to it, get Jen Carlin's story. Hmm. When we took our road trip to Columbus, mm-hmm. she went to use the restroom, and it was just before Roman was going to make his entrance down through. Mm-hmm. So like she was hanging in the back with him because they wouldn't let her come back to her seat. Because they were kind of corralling everybody it. off. They blocked everybody in. But she's like pretty much hanging out back there with him. <laughs> so she has a really fun story about that sometime when, when we need to get her on the show. His hair gel went <laughs> into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave's in there is, uh, uh, referencing Roman here. Guys, she's coming back. I still have her sweater in my place. No, it's not creepy. 
<laughs> oh geez uh, they have the they have the shirts with the wording why not use it in the entrance yeah i i think that's a we build to that maybe you see it next week maybe you see it at the pay-per-view yeah. like it becomes a thing also it's three on four tlc yeah, I was wondering about that. <laughs> what is and, that? and one of those one of those guys is Braun Strowman, who is an X Factor according to uh, Booker T. An X Factor. I have a what? question. What? Yes. Yeah. Go push that. Sorry. No, no. Go ahead. What are they reaching for? What do you mean? TLC matches usually have something hanging from a hook. <clears throat> True. Thank you. No. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not always. Yeah. When, when have they not well, had well, that not, not a TLC match on the indies where they don't have a su- sufficient structure to hang anything off of in a gymnasium sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> not always, though. There's precedent of them having TLC matches. Without it's probably just going to be Braun Strowman on their titles. <laughs> and the part that Mad not Mike right. is mad about. Can you guess this? Can you guess Everything. why? Everything. Uh, none He's of the titles, the universal title, IC title, and tag <laughs> titles will not be defended on this pay per view. Who cares? And I bet the cruiserweight will still. Mike, I I tell you on Monday nights, I want to say it again. Titles don't matter anymore. Well, here's no. here's my question: If titles are defended at a pay per view, is it still a pay per view? Did you pay for it? Well, it's it's the network. Should they well, even yeah, be called so, pay-per-views anymore? So wait, 205 exactly. is always Last I knew, there were special events. Yeah. Uh, Raw's already being booked like a Saturday night's main event, yeah. apparently, by putting the cruiserweights at the end. I mean... That was a discussion we had with all these all these <coughs> pay-per-views popping up, that these are... With the network and stuff, you don't have a traditional build to the pay-per-view. These Very are, true. These no, are special no. events. These are... They, you, they aren't like one month builds. Remember, they we used are. to have like the whole, cl- uh, you know, climatic vignettes that came out, and it's just this whole build, and this one's in black and white, and this one's this. Yeah. And then it builds, and next thing you know, like everyone's, oh yeah, I'm gonna pay my forty nine ninety nine, you know, and yeah. uh, we're gonna get it. I, no, I, no, they're just gonna. We're, it's we're, rushed. We're getting it's rushed. T- we're getting a ten dollar build instead of a forty nine ninety nine. Or build. some of us, like Chad, might be getting it for free. <laughs> Bo, you free. don't get a build at all. Legitimately, yeah, right. you don't even get a promo. Legitimately the for free. <laughs> They How, they you, sent me. I'll show you the email. They don't, sent no, it. don't tell them. Don't show them. But you know. But no, tell, I'll, tell, I'll, tell them I'll, the story you've been telling us. So like apparently there's a wonderful workaround for WWE. We're gonna hack this I, stuff. I have no idea what caused this, but <laughs> you know I was I was juggling two emails. Yeah. And I was yeah. you know just switching here and there, and I had used this email primarily for a while, and then dropped the network from it. And I think I got one of the thirty days from another one. You know. So they hit me back, and I think I brought up on the show before that they were saying, hey, here's a special offer. We'd like to have you back with the network. It's $9.99 for, the, for October, November, and December. So three months. Like, like, like three months for nine ninety nine For the rest of the year, one, one low price of nine ninety nine to cover all three months. And I was like, wow, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad. I, I already still have it on this, on this you know, whatever. It's going to run out. They send me another one a little while later and it said, listen, we'd really like you to have the network. We want you to experience October, November, December for free. And I was like, well, now you got my attention. <laughs> so I clicked on it. I was like, there's got to be some sort of catch. There's got to be something, you know, something they're trying to pull. Nope. <laughs> I reactivated that account. I get it's free till November or till January second is when they will bill my card for nine ninety nine, and October, November, December are f- absolutely free. Did they say they were gonna bill you for nine ninety nine, or are they just gonna give you one big bill for like no, fifty bucks? No, they will bill nine ninety nine on January second. I think they just caught on to a yeah. scheme, and early, actually, what it read is nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> You're on. They eventually caught on, buddy. They, no, no, that I. I it's it's legit. They just gave me three months, Jeez. three months free. So you got Survivor Series TLC, Arm, Armageddon. Or Armageddon no. is that December? I think Armageddon. Did they bring it back for December, or is it still like roadblock construction? Uh, and dot something. <laughs> <laughs> <Pen> dot. Yeah. <laughs> Ex, exit that's, closed. That's Detour. Yeah. Detour. Well, they did yeah, the yeah. graphic of the bridge for roadblock, and it's like construction on a bridge uh, for that pay per view in December. It yeah. was just like, 
<laughs> oh wow, that's just an image of Pittsburgh. They just went outside yeah. and took a picture. That's yeah, it. yeah. I'm like, oh wait, that's 10th Street Bridge. Okay. Somewhere, yeah. Vince, some, some, somewhere I'm, I'm assuming Vince is just like, you know that bridge we went over? Yeah, that, we want that one. A lot of yellow. <laughs> a lot of yellow orange. It's just... <laughs> Jeez. Roadblock. Jeez. Um, there was a lot of... <laughs> oh, geez. Um, anyways, we had some some stuff from the chat room I wanted to touch on here real quick because there's some interesting uh, thoughts on that. Uh, we we have time. We do have time for Jason Jordan to be added to the match uh, with the shield, like Kurt. Oh, it's going to happen. You think that's happening? It's, it's, it's going to happen somewhere down the line because they have to shove Jason Jordan in your face. Somehow. He's going to be like he's going to yeah. be like that. He's like that brother-in-law that that you don't want to bring along, but the parents make you. Uh, they, I'm sorry, stepbrother. That that you know, and just like no, no. So yeah, that's less weird that way, right? And that's, that's I, a little... what brother, uh, I, brother-in-law. I I don't like my brother-in-law. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> I just say, I just say. Um, <laughs> that's okay. He doesn't have the internet. Um, well, well, Samoa Joe or Brock make an appearance during the match as well. Maybe yeah, you never know what they're gonna build. Yeah, you know, I've series. been wondering where Samoa Joe is. He's, He's killing. Here. He went back yeah. to the island of Samoa. Which say, is where? Gotcha. Which is in the Pacific. Huntington Beach? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Hunt- Huntington Beach, Samoa. He only knows. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, no. only know the, 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 the Michigan Can hand. Can I get right? a visual aid? Where is that? Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, not every state is shaped like a hand. We can't <laughs> help you, Larry. Well, do better. <laughs> have, you, have, I, have I showed you the Motor City machine guns yet? Oh, you'll be a huge fan. Oh, you'd be a huge fan for that, just you, for you them assume. coming out. They just, they, come, just they just come out and point like, to Detroit yeah. on their hand, and that's it. I mean, that's, that's your people, right? You would, you would buy like their merchandise all the way from like TNA. Double oh, entrance. You just lost me. Oh, there we go. Uh, I, I didn't lose you. That Trust was, me, I didn't lose you. Man, that was good TNA. That was good. Oh, it was good. It, yeah. it was. Listen, right, if you right. sign up for if you sign up for Global Force Wrestling's network, which we'll no. talk about after the break, no, we'll we see. Won't. We'll we'll see how this goes. Uh, we'll see if I can finally watch a DJ Z match and not be sad by the rest of the programming around it very easily, uh, very soon. In the meantime, you know what I'm not sad about. You guys got to sample this. Slice on Broadway. Our friends supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Riz! Yes. Riz! It's coming, Sorg. It's coming to you! I'm going to be walking distance away from a slice on Broadway. Yes, you are. They and knew. They knew that you're on the other side of the of the of the it's city. Like somebody, and- it's like it's like somebody like whispered in their ear. Give Riz pizza. Rico. Because it's, it's, it's literally walking distance from where I am. Rico, serve the Mayhemers on the west side. I'm sorry, the east side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, actually, it's more... It's the east end. It is more... It's East Liberty. It, it's East it's Liberty. It's, 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 west it's Liberty, Liberty is over here. You're on the east side of the city. Do it. Do I need to draw? Hold on. No, uh, this, so, see? so yeah, this is the river. This is where you're the, at on the east side. Sword. Okay. Like this is this is draw, draw the hand. This map. is it. Then the, the, this this over here. This is East Liberty. <laughs> what? Yes. The is. thumb is. Listen. We, we are, listen this we is the river. No, our river goes this way. This is the river. That's not the river. You have another hand here. Is that this is that's it. That's the east end. So so this is this this is. Michigan. This is the river. Pittsburgh. This is the river. This is Michigan here. This is the river. The point is, Slice on Broadway, they're right up the street here, the original location of mm-hmm. on Broadway Avenue in the Beachview neighborhood where the tracks still run the trains, as well as Carnegie PA. The, well, well, the tracks run them trains. Trains don't run the tracks. The tracks run the trains around here, buddy. Wow. Main Street in Carnegie, PA, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, where you can you can get that on Uber Eats wherever you want now. Mm-hmm. What? Get, what? You can get that pepperoni slice. Get Pretty that pepperoni time. slice. Get it. Get it. Riz, go get it. Riz, go walk down to your new, uh, your new I slice. I can't do it right now. It's Wait, dark you outside. Can walk, well, to East Liberty walk down to your, well, your I mean, he's local like, establishment, yeah, kick walking. the door well, open, well, and well, say, well, Mayhem well, sent you. East Liberty is... Nice now. <laughs> well, I, I was saying the distance, not the. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, no. He's he's he works near East Liberty, is what he's saying. Yeah. Disclaimer. Yes. It doesn't yeah. Work I work now. I'm he's not, in Monroe. I'm there now. Stroll, I mean, if, stroll you're, down. if you want to pull up a Google Maps on this one, <laughs> just stroll yeah, on down. I mean, look, look. I'm I'm here. 
<laughs> He's on the He's river. On what what, what like is that? What is, what state is Whoa, that? Where? That's not. Where I are mean, we at now? Actually, kind of like if you look at it, like this is Erie, then this is Pittsburgh, right? Wait, where, where, I gotta go this well, way. There. Tonight. I thought that uh, was Samoa. Oh, wait, no, there. <laughs> Samoa, Pennsylvania. <laughs> this, um, there we go. There, there you go. There's Erie, Pittsburgh, and if you there's Philly. Sliceonbroadway.com. Go check them out. Tell them the mayhem sent you. Pgh underscore slice on Twitter, and please go to the incline.com and vote for them. We're coming for you, Angelo's Pizza. We'll be back after the break. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter is with us. We got the whole crew here. The Riz is with us about the kick down doors of pizza places, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are making me do a lot of things. Yeah, we just you, you have that. a task list for after Welcome this. Welcome back. Welcome to the. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know that list like Cody Rose wrote when he left WWE. That's what you're going to have when you come around That's, here. I know. Uh, I'm scared. One, get Enzo here. Two, kick down slice on Broadway door. Three, <laughs> question mark. Question mark. Question Four, mark. Profit. Four, Four profit. Four profit. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Also, of course, with us is the mutilator himself, Larry. Hello. Yes. Yep. Doing things. Yes. Thanks. Doing Larry things. Yes. Uh, Chad the Shad with us as well. Yep. Not Chad the Enzo. Nope. Although, uh, I guess I did leave that on your title. I'm sorry. But actually, okay. oh, we have the Rev, the Rev Enzo Amore. Yeah, baby. I'm oh, making it, man. One. There you go. I'm telling you, man. I, just like I said, man, I have so much power right now. I have like... It feels like I'm all right now. It's just consumed with enough power that I can get kicked out any locker room, any tour bus. I just feel that powerful. Maybe any podcast studio. Any any podcast studio, man. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. You know. I mean, we have kicked people off the show again. What's that? Because he looks like a super saiyan. I feel like I can like defeat Jaren. Like I, I like I feel like I can do it. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> oh boy, it is the perfect time. We'll get to some Enzo talk. But in the meantime, it's time for the big question. And this week, I, it might be just because, and I talked before, like I was, you know, driving driving some Lyft earlier today, uh, seeing the city, and I had somebody from KFC in my car. Well, there's somebody that worked at KFC. It's just it's not like corporate. Okay. Right. Not, you drove the Colonel around? No, no, I All did right. not drive the Colonel around. <laughs> but it got me thinking about the KFC. And of course, finger the, licking, finger licking. <laughs> Good. <laughs> The Colonel, Ooh, the spicy. Colonel, of course, is in the ultimate crossover in WWE 2K18. I think the chicken is too, right? Officially? Mm-hmm. Is he? No? Is it just... Is I think it, it just, might be just... A, I think it's just the Colonel. There's a creative the character, I'm sure. You, you don't want to see what they can do to that chicken. They're, mm-hmm. they're at least going to make it a DLC sooner or later. Yeah. That might be. That might be. Or, they're going to make you pay for that. Or it's a DLC that's free with like a bucket of chicken. That will be so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That chicken would probably put in a lot of chokeholds. So, so, and we've talked about, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, pay for that DLC. <laughs> oh, it just got me late too. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 talk about the uh, the weird the weird stuff Enzo wants to do with a bucket of chicken. Uh, mm. and 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 obviously this has gotten really weird really weird and and i'm concerned because then now there's no wwe stuff in the kfc's <laughs> either as a cross promotion which seems weird too but strange. maybe they didn't want um enzo with his his uh his his uh eyes for chicken to scare the children yeah. uh so my big question is if you had to pick a property with a really interesting ad campaign with the wwe what would it be Mm-hmm. 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 Good question. Mm-hmm. We've had KFC. We've had we've had uh, uh, Tyson Kid with what the hell were they? Uh, chicken fries Beats? or something oh, yeah. with Burger King? We've you had, know, oh, yeah. we've had Jr. Carl and Skittles. Jr. Jr. Was, Jr. loves the Skittles. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is true. Yeah. Well, what is missing? What should WWE be approaching? Chipotle. Chipotle. Yes. What are you gonna do with Chipotle? Whatever mm-hmm. the hell they want. I mean, yeah, it's. I mean, we've seen what was that? James Ellsworth and uh, Snickers was that? Was that in the Snickers oh, geez, with Charlotte was. Flair? Yeah, I think so. Similarly, yeah. I'm going to suggest to match your Chipotle Charmin two ply. 
<laughs> wow. I, don't even, I don't even want to know. And how are we doing this ad campaign? I, I don't know, but I think it'd be pretty funny and Just profitable. And profitable? Yeah. And I'll build off of his. <laughs> um, there's a certain picture that's already in this studio of Braun Strowman. Like the brownie, the, the brawny the paper towel man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that just made, I mean. Why don't we just do that? Why haven't they already done that? Yeah, of course. Like, Braun just makes Braun. a mess. Or and then, like, knocks over a cup of water. And he's like, oh. Pulls up some paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, the absorbency. Wonderful. I'm finished with you now. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. finished with you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the only paper towel roll he gets to say he's finished with. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, okay. And they're super absorbent, so you can use it more than once. So he can actually mm-hmm. say, I'm not finished with you, and save yeah. it for later. That's oh. Oh. oh, there you go. Wow. That's it. That's the song. Wow. That's the pitch. Pull it out during Done. a match. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Done. Roman tries to kill him again. He just puts it in his elbow, sop up his blood, tuck it back in his, uh-huh. his work shirt. And go back work, to work shirt. It's yeah. It's <laughs> wearing cut, sleeveless flannels. Yeah. Pin dot shirt. <laughs> <laughs> If he dressed as a lumberjack, I'd be... Actually, I think if you look at his Instagram or his whatever, there's pictures of him like chopping wood and stuff. Who, Braun Strowman? Missy. Missy. Uh, The Hardy Boys. Have you seen him? Have you seen his pictures yet? Yeah, they're pretty funny. (laughs) Uh, They are. Missy? The Hardy Boys selling ladders. Mm. That makes sense. Home Depot? That makes sense. <laughs> what is it? There Wer- you go. Werner oh, Home Depot? Yeah, yeah. Are those Werner ladders, right? Yeah. That's the big... Or mm-hmm. maybe the uh, little giant ladders yes. for extra stability. Oh, my gosh. Oh. And just have Jeff just up there. Yeah, I can jump off of these all day. <laughs> 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 these other ladders were too flimsy and wobbly for me to stand <laughs> up on. <laughs> I almost killed myself at WrestleMania. I broke but, my tailbone. Yep. What was the sucker with the owl? Oh, to, Tootsie, to, Pops? Tootsie, Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Pops. Uh, I mean, the, does it the take... new day and the new day and the Tootsie Pops. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we have them rolling in from the from the chat room. Tina says Daniel Bryan for herbal essences. Uh, <laughs> although although Rev, you could be going for some herbal essence you know, there with that you know, look I'm, there. I'm, I'm I'm feeling it. That man. Enzo look. I'm, there I'm you feeling go. it. The hair. Gives, I tell you, the hair gives you power. What's that? Mad Mike, oh, hold on. we're going through. We're going down through this. We got a lot of these here. Mad Mike says uh, Tyler Breeze and Fandango replacing the guys at Sonic. <laughs> uh, Alex M out there says Cars Against Humanity as a as a property. It, mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that idea. Could be, could be. Yeah, yeah, but who would you put in that? Who? 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 Well, they don't need. They don't need to be people. They have to. They, it's, it's like. Rick scenarios Flair? and then it's references and all that stuff. They don't need to just put people in there. They just need a, a WWE themed pack. Ooh, I like expansion. That. Uh-huh. I like that. You know, pro you wrestling go. expansion. Uh, Matt Carlin says Peyton Royce and Billy Kay here for Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh, boy. could have Elias doing <clears throat> nationwide How about commercials. Elias doing nationwide <laughs> commercials. <laughs> 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 You, Please you put kinda. your phones on mute. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Peyton Manning. While you drive. Yes, Missy? Would they technically consider it a Microsoft uh, PowerPoint spot already? Right. Wait, where is the Microsoft uh, for Drew, Drew Gulak? Gulak. Yes. It only makes sense. They already responded on Twitter. Yeah. So, <laughs> man, that's going to be great. You, it, we get him, and then we'll bring back Dean Douglas, too. He's looking for work, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Um, Dave, uh, Dave, Dave, uh, Dave says uh, degree anti-person having uh, uh, people getting chanced by Braun. Oh, how about um, TJP for Dave and Buster's? Yeah, Amazing. yeah, okay, all right, yeah. I think if anybody's gonna have the anti-person, it's gonna be Bro- uh, Brock. Brock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't oh, want to soak boy. my opponent. No. Uh, let's see. Got Tina, T- Tom out there. He says uh, Cesaro, Chris, toothpaste. Say yeah. maybe, um, maybe Sensodyne. How about uh, Paul Paul Heyman for Rogaine? <laughs> he no, wait, 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 wait. We've he had would sell the shit out of that. He would like I would like you would just get Rogaine and you don't even need it. You got hair like that over exactly, there, like, right? Yeah. Like, he would make you fear. 
that if you didn't have it, you would go bald. <laughs> Pre- you would need it. Yeah. True. Preemptive Rogaine. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody's, anybody's right. going to do that, I think um, Baron Corbin should be doing that. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I was more going to put him for um, uh, hydroxy cut or something. Oh. Get a, <laughs> yeah. little, just tighten it up a little bit. That's it. T-shirt mode. Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many people making fun of his belly button. That's the keyboard warriors he was talking about out there. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah. Um, those poor, those poor images where they put Krang in his stomach. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Brandon says the USO selling handcuffs. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Kane for Kings for charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Seth Rollins for Shell gasoline. Burn it down. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. How about everybody got that? Oh, there, there would be a disclaimer. Right? Please don't use our gasoline to burn anything. <laughs> Alex, okay, this makes more sense. Alex says. Alex says. Alex M says that um, 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 people getting chased by brawn with a uh, degree antiperspirant. Hmm. Okay, no, no, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Actually, what if the shield did uh, the shield home security? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Their home security is so good. It's like having the shield watch your house. Hey, it's just, it's just roaming it. out in the front yard. Just, just, <laughs> yeah. just spearing Dan. burglars. <laughs> yeah, Dean's up in the window. Yeah, yeah. They they they, they do the they do the power bomb through a picnic table out back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're not getting in this house. You're not getting in <laughs> that house. Enzo, <laughs> Enzo Amore for the University of Phoenix, Phoenix, where you can teach that. <laughs> oh. Wow, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> but that's the best. Yeah, you I can. <laughs> oh boy uh so uh, let us know a- a- anybody out there if you're catching this after the fact uh hit us on twitter or the facebook or comments uh for the big question who would you have doing a promotion these days uh, with the wwe so chad you said and of course we obviously solved the problem that there isn't enough enzo on this show yeah yeah it's been <laughs> rectified it's definitely been rectified we have one dime now I'm we have one dime <laughs> i'm sorry to interrupt you i just came up with one more okay okay um, the the singer. Oh, Aiden English. Oh, Aiden English, oh. uh, doing an ad for Ricola. Mm. Mm. Winter is coming. You need those <laughs> cough drops. <laughs> really, 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 when he said the singer, I, I went back in time and I thought he was talking about Julian Hall. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, Brandon Cesaro and Seamus doing uh, just promotions for bars. <laughs> <laughs> just bars. <laughs> We're never leaving. Or us. or bar exams. <laughs> We're, we're never leaving this. Uh, Dave, Dave's saying he's Slater for uh, West Virginia U- University just in general. Oh, geez. West Virginia again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe just for West Virginia. Rhino for, the, Rhino for Detroit, then. Mm. Or Michigan. Dearborn. West is Rhino for the, you know, the, yeah, the Board of Public uh, it's Parks. First, yeah, parks <laughs> and Recreation. Get on the mic. Get on the mic. Get on the mic. I could see Rhino doing like Detroit cars, like mm-hmm. a sales pitch for her vehicles. As amazing as Shane McSane, like Shane Ford Mc... is out there, right? Like the you pool, pay and pool uh, junkyards. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex M says Shane McMahon school of jumping off stuff. No, no, no. I think Shane McMahon for a, a trampoline park. Sky, Sky Zone. Hmm? Sky Zone. Sky Zone. It was like a new Ascend or something here in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Like stuff like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> More of the hair. More no, like, yeah. Shane helicopter Mc- training. Shane, <laughs> Shane McMahon throws seal. his own Catalina wine mixer. He's got there a lot of helicopters to sell. <laughs> well, the hair Ones is- that don't crash. Hmm. Chad, how do you feel about Enzo losing the title? It's it's sad. Mm-hmm. But um, pretty a spectacular way to have lost it. You would not get any of that if he didn't win the title. Mm-hmm. You can you can pet this for consultation. Like, Just. Yeah. I know what you're going through, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Like he's spooning the Enzo here. You you wouldn't have gotten that lumberjack match, which I believe Larry you called what two weeks ago or something. Yeah, like when you, you thought they were out. coming out for a lumberjack match. You got it. You did. Got it. It's pretty pretty good lumberjack match yeah. too. Like <laughs> besides the besides the heels beating up the good guy when they don't like Enzo to begin with, but yeah, they still. They're still heels, so they'll still beat up anybody good. But they all hate. I don't know. It's got that's a little confusing. It's in the lumberjack handbook. 
yeah. believe in the WWE rule book over there. It's, on it's the just show. A, just a one two three thing. You you have to do it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. It's like immediate termination. Like, <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> um, that match was great. Um, you wouldn't get it if Enzo wasn't cutting them down every week mm-hmm. with insults and uh, really he fired it up. And I saw like uh, um, that needed to be on Raw. I think it was Mad Mike who said like, why couldn't it be on Two Hundred Five Live? Because no one watches Two Hundred Five. Oh, I would say a lot more people are watching yeah. Raw Two Hundred Five Live. So and, and like even at the top of the show, Riz, I don't know if you watch Two Hundred Five a lot, but at the top of the show here when we came in, you're like, I'm watching Two Hundred Five Live. Exactly. And have you like, watched Two Hundred Five Live in previous on. weeks? Yes. Pro- probably. Well, Larry, I didn't watch you're, any you're one of the five. I'm the one. You're the five in Two Hundred Five. I watch it live. <laughs> <laughs> one of the five. But um, but no, it adds. I thought like that main event and having the cruiserweights on Raw because that's what they are showcased. If you remember, they are a Raw side property thing. They promote it on Raw. So having Cruiserweight stuff on Raw and actually and doing sustainable, something. doing something, yeah. really good Cruiserweight mm-hmm. stuff will make you want to watch 205 Live. It's, you know, and, 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 and yeah. you know, Mike's saying, you know, but but you have to drive people to 205 Live. I was like, yeah. And they did. And they did. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I mean, 205 Live has been one thing and you get to show them, hey, it's this thing now. Hey, if you want yeah. more of Enzo because you're an Enzo fan or whatever, mm-hmm. now it's over on, two, there's more, even yeah. more on 205 you, Live. You also have to remember not everybody has has the network no believe no, it or no, not true. there are people who still watch well, they, cable they, who still watch just usa network they don't have the network then do how do you have how do you successfully access. drive people to 205 live by doing a lumberjack match like that and then a great match to end raw mm-hmm. or to do a s- tag team match every week right yeah how you else a six-man tag team yeah. match and yeah, they successfully would not work at all. Exactly, like all them tag matches, they successfully promoted everybody in the cruiserweight division with one person winning the title. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He cut up all of them. They all came out on stage for what three weeks in a row now. Mm-hmm. So you've seen the whole cruiserweight division for three weeks, two weeks in the main event and time slot. Three weeks. Yep. Yep. And well, yeah, at least three, three weeks. weeks. At least yeah, three yeah weeks. at least three. You're seeing them. You're intrigued by them. You're probably going to tune into 205 Live if you haven't before. You may even get the network if you've been teetering on it because you're thinking, mm-hmm. I don't know, this might be this might be it. Maybe they send you an email for free and then you, you just watch it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean we, we all can't just be awesome like you. I mean, we, can't, we can't all be, be Chad the Shad at, at, at yahoo.com <clears throat> on top of our email account and just Hi. get so lucky. Dude, Road Dog's going to pick you no. up. No, well, you're, you're gonna lose your three months because of the show. It's not my. It's not Trust my, me, you probably have a, you probably, you probably my, have an email right now. It's not my real email, but <laughs> hey, 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 stop talking about this shit from, from Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I, it's 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 good. It's good. Mm-hmm. It, it him winning the title. Now him losing it, it. It's interesting to see where else he'll go. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully he'll stay there. I hope he has a really strong depression ring like uh, like Neville, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he was yeah. not looking too happy tonight. Who? What? You're oh, about oh well, no, of course not. Of course yeah. not. Um, let's see. Now there's no 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 build for what's happening on 205 Live. You could have... Yeah, this there no, is. no, 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 no. There yeah. is. There is. You, you, you have this. It's like, well, you can, you know, for instance, like Hell in a Cell. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. I have to wait for Tuesday to find out the fallout of Sami Zayn, right? <clears throat> now you're like, oh, wait. I, I want to see what's happening. I want to see what this... That was an incredible match. You there, it's, it's a preview of that. And you champion. say And you say nothing happens on 205 Live. This is a discussion I have every week with Mike. Uh, but... There's a lot that happens on 205 Live. There's a lot of development of those characters that happens there that is not happening on Raw. You know, yeah. the development is happening on 205 Live of what's mm-hmm. happening with Jack Gallagher, what's happening with uh, the slideshow. I had to go back uh, and look at Gulak. Yeah, Gulak's thing. Yeah. Like, I see him with that sign that said yeah, no yeah. chance. And I haven't watched 205 Live enough to be like, what's all that about? Like, really, what have they done on Raw to give you a reason to go over? They were like, oh, this is, there's a match and there's a there's a tag match. Six man tag you know, match. I would say nothing happens with the championship for 205 Live. No, but the division lives there, and, and enough mm-hmm. happens with it. And the title has changed yeah. changed uh, in the past. It's not going to change all the time. Yeah. But you know, we did it on Raw now because yeah. this is the weird middle area at the end of the year where we just try some stuff. 
And I've said maybe maybe we're experimenting that that third hour of Raw does become 205 Live because it's been ending every week, right? Yeah. And, and I know people say, no, that's because of Monday Night Football. I think Monday Night Football is a myth. <laughs> just well, doesn't doesn't here's, exist. And no, here's the no, thing. no, not in my purview, not in my world. It it's, does not it's, exist it's as a factor. Fake news. It doesn't invent. Nobody's paying attention to football right now. Here's the thing news. about like everybody before. There's a few people who were complaining about how the cruise rates were being used on Raw. Like they shouldn't be wasted in tag matches. There shouldn't be wasted in throwaway singles matches that no one's following because they don't watch 205 Live or whatever. They fixed it. Mm-hmm. They gave you something that actually did matter. Mm-hmm. And so, like, which do you want? Do you want the random Grand Metalik and and this guy, uh, was it, or Rich Swan mm-hmm. doing a singles match on Raw? Or do you want something like Enzo cutting just, all of them down in a promo? Right, right, right. And just... Which is also funny because on main event, like, Grand Metalik is having fantastic matches. Mm-hmm. Fantastic matches. The one I saw here in Pittsburgh, I tuned in at one other time on main event, found it on Hulu, I think. And I was like, oh shit, this is a good, this is a really good cruiserweight match. Yeah. You know, it's weird that that's happening, but but it's happening. It's somewhere where this, people can get exposed. Yeah. To. And this seemed like a statement. It's a launching point. It's like they, they, they relaunched the cruiserweight division. Mm-hmm. Like they did a hard reset. They're like, here we go. We're going to launch it with Enzo. And now everybody's kind of pissed. And we have some threads, so this is where we're going to run now. Yeah, there you go. Come, there look, you go. come watch with us. I'm I'm going to to bring this up because it's coming up in the chat room, and I know it was something that has come up while we were doing pre-show stuff for tonight. Neville has asked for his release. I mm-hmm. want to. Uh, I, I want. I want yeah. the journalists in the chat room to take a look at that story over on the group. I. It's all the word in the back says. You know that kind of stuff that I hate on the dirt. The, you know dirt cheat site. Yeah. So I mean, he, he was telling that he was not part <coughs> of. Although I think he's kind of too big to be just. He's too big of a asset to be just thrown out there in, in a in a lumberjack match, maybe. Um, which I guess I guess the word is he was supposed to be in that match and lose to Enzo. Um, but still. Um, but I I don't know I I believe it when I see it. I think he's he's getting too much out of it to to want to leave at this point. Um, because he's they made the division around him at this point, and he's built yeah. that up and he's been very very good at that. Uh, my, Matt's asking. Uh, Matt Carnes is asking. Uh, there may they may be more interest in two hundred five since Enzo, but does it translate into more network stubs? No, not that alone. But I think I don't think anybody is subscribing to WWE Network because of two hundred five Live exclusively. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think. It's I don't not, think so. Right no, now, no, it's no. an enhancement, right? Yeah. It's like, and you happen to get this where these guys are doing some cool stuff, yeah. right? And the people that tuned in for. Cruiserweight Classic and May Young Classic are interested in that. You know, it is not, you know, just like, you know, are there a lot of people subscribing exclusively for NXT other than Mad Mike? Um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think there's a lot in the, in the grand scheme of and things. And you asked, yeah, I mean. It, it just, it, it's kind of just a value add to, at this point. Well, here's here's my philosophy on it. And you, you know this because you drag me along for all of the wrestling stuff in your life. NXT is one of those programs that I would legit subscribe for. Mm-hmm. Because of all of the products that WWE puts out, NXT is my favorite. And like I would legit like if, if we had the conversation about whether or not we should get a WWE subscription, I would put, say yeah, it, it, NXT would be worth it for the nine ninety nine or whatever it is yeah. that, that we'd pay for it. Could be. Mm-hmm. I, I, I believe I believe <laughs> I believe in general. Uh, NXT you know holds its own. I think Triple H is doing a phenomenal job, and everyone that's on that. Uh, that board of staff over there is doing a phenomenal job. I really do feel by itself, it holds its own. People get so captivated in it that they forget that it's still part of the whole scheme of WWE. People get so captivated. And I really do think it's holding its, it's, holding its own. By the way, you got a little bit of Enzo on your, on your forehead. Yeah, I got a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. feel that heat coming. Yeah. Had, yeah. had a little menage. <laughs> so you know? I also, I also appreciate the fact that what you were just talking about is there have been people who I have absolutely loved in NXT they go up to the main roster, and I'm like, "Nope." You're you're not you're not the you're not the only one. Oh, oh absolutely not. You are not the only yeah. one. I know certain certain people, and you know, I'm not going to mention names that are that are up there, but certain ones are like, "Man, I wish they just had the opportunity to go back to NXT." And you know, that's just you know that's that's their ground. You know that they can just take over NXT and that be their home base. And um, I I know a few fans that are you know 
at that point to where they're saying NXT, they had a little bit of a better run. They had a little bit of a better um, solid base behind them rather than them being pulled up to the next level. So um, honestly, uh, since we're on that real quick, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in the making from a man, Leo Rush, now that he's in NXT and trying to see what's going to happen with them. Hopefully we see a permanent uh, duo back with him and his former indie partner, Patrick Clark. So just had to throw that out there. So. Oh, I didn't know that was his old teammate. Yeah, Wait, was yeah. He, was, he, was Patrick Clark an, uh, uh, a Tough Enough guy? Oh, is it, it Tough pa- Enough? Pa- Patrick Clark was uh, in Tough Enough. Um, Leo Rush was in Ring of Honor. Okay. And uh, one, both of them was one of the two quickest. They both started if, uh, with uh, MCW. Okay. And they were there as Son of Impact. And then Patrick Clark got called up after Tough Enough. And then Leo Rush did his thing with Evolve and Ring of Honor and this and got called right on up too. So there, I'm, I'm both looking for some some great things out of them, man. Okay. Um, wow. Tina says, as a mom taking her, her son to a three-hour Raw is already exhausting. We need to be compelled to stick around for 205 Live when uh, SmackDown Live is exhausting for two hours-ish. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you also don't have main event before and everything like that, and like the quick, exciting stuff I feel happens in that two hundred five live. Yeah, I mean, not that well, SmackDown's been a slouch. I wanted to going back to Matt's point of Wood. I think it was Matt, right? Well, actually, he's got he's got another point on that before you get to that too, and it may play into your comment too. I, I, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, he he's saying, um, I, I guess my point is the best use for the best cruiserweight stuff maybe to make the three hour raw bearable. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's possible. But I was saying, like his comment of, um, will it will it lead to more subscribers? Maybe that's not the question. Maybe it's will it keep more subscribers? Mm-hmm. You maybe NXT gets them in the door. Hey, here's another reason for me to stick around. You're thinking, yeah. well, you know what? I forgot two of fives on the network. Yeah, yeah. That's the only place I can see it. Maybe I use it a little more. Maybe I keep it. it. Although you can also see it on Hulu. Well. Not live. You can see 205 on Hulu. Yeah, 205 Live and NXT are all on Hulu. You don't yeah. get the takeovers or anything like that, but but or obviously the pay per views for for 205 Live yeah. are, are, are 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 presented. But yeah, you if you get Hulu, it's kind of if you don't give a crap about watching stuff live like I do, um, <laughs> Hulu is has everything you're missing. Now, now I'm an ad for Hulu. That's why they advertise it. You get raw of the shortened version of raw, which is more bearable because it's a short, it's a ninety minute version of raw. Oh, you get like the Saturday morning, uh, Sunday morning version of raw. Yeah, basically. Yeah, right? yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Three, yeah. three a.m. raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember raw a.m. Do they still do that? <laughs> mm. no, I haven't seen it in a while, but I, I do remember. They used to it. like like it's on like two in the morning yeah. and like Sunday yeah. and Sunday morning for Saturday night. We're like, you know, you're like, like drunk and you're just like, hey, like, whoa, yeah. is it Monday? Um, hey, I'm still up after Saturday Velocity. Let me watch Sunday, <laughs> Sunday morning <laughs> Raw. Right, right before uh, Saturday, Sunday Night Heat. Yeah, right yeah, before yeah, Sunday yeah, Night yeah. Heat. Yeah. Uh, but they have that. They have SmackDown, 205 Live, NXT. I think they might have main events still, which is not on the network. So it is kind of, you know, that it's batting cleanup for the rest of it. And people on Hulu that stumble on something like 205 Live and NXT, and it gets to the point where, oh, wait, there's a pay-per-view that a Cruiserweight title is happening. I don't know how much they care about that. Uh, or there's a takeover coming up because they got invested on that on Hulu. And now they add on, they're already in this world where they're paying for, you know, $7.99 or $11.99 for, for Hulu. And they throw another $9.99 or, you know, get three months free like Chad. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, maybe it's because I wore that Enzo. Like, there you go. They, like we, Hopefully WWE's comes like my way soon. WWE's like it's good luck. We see you. Yeah. We see you. You 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 get this. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Hey, I'm taking it stuff. out of the. No, <laughs> they <Raw>. can't see <laughs> me. Can't Bobby's see calling me. it raw clips notes. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Anyways. Uh. And, and by the way, Bobby did have a, a late entry. I wanted to get to after we were chatting about this. Um. Jason Jordan for Ancestry dot com. Anybody? <laughs> uh, uh, Twenty three and me. <laughs> I would I would say um Kurt Angle catfishing on blackpeoplemeat.com dot <laughs> <laughs> have, have, have we have we ever found out who who Wait, is, is that a site too? It yeah. is right right after farmersonly.com dot com. <laughs> so it's like the Wyatt families use farmersonly dot com. I know of blackpeoplemeat dot com. I know of Christian Singles dot com and why and isn't there why, why isn't there a, re- a wrestling one like uh, like indie what wrestlers was, what meet was the juggalo one pinned in the, the mat. The, is there a juggalo oh. one? There was a mock juggalo one that oh no, I don't remember seeing that. Of. I haven't seen that. But Doink, there, no, Doink no, the clown would be great for that. Though. Uh, there's there's tag me a date, but I feel like only guys are on that, right? Oh boy. Hottag.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 
<laughs> I'm taking a beating out in this single life. I need a hot tag. <laughs> yeah, we could have, have Gold Dust uh, advertising the Golden Globes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. How about Bray Wyatt for Raid? <laughs> Or Cracker Barrel with the... Uh, oh, I would love that Cracker Barrel. I would so love The it. rocket oh, no, no. chairs. Rusev from Southpaw for Farmers Only. <laughs> what? What, Big Bartholomew? Big Bartholomew. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, no. And I guess breaking news. Apparently, Paige has officially been suspended for 60 days now. Again? Again? Yeah. I didn't. I thought she already got 60 Did days. She? Like She got like two back-to-back, didn't she? got didn't 60 she? days been reinstated. Ago. Yeah, I thought she got 60 days a year ago. Yeah. This would be third strike. Unless it's just a whole other thing she this got. Is, she ever this is it? just going... She, what do you mean did she serve it? Oh, I mean, she like... <laughs> she came back. Oh, oh, is it been 60 days already? Oh, no, 60 maybe, days. So. Maybe she didn't officially serve her 60 days, like, you, being on the roster. Because right. maybe they reinstate her, she'll serve her 60 days, and then come back. It's not. It's not like oh. it's not like football games. She's out of. It's, it's so. Can we have? I don't know. Can we have Paige be a sponsor for Quest Diagnostics? Oh. Guys, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn from wrestling to, this week, please, Chad? Oh boy, that they don't have the galls to throw children off the throne. <laughs> <laughs> They don't have the stats. of all the things we've 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 desecrated in a church. We've <laughs> yeah, yeah. We uh, we gave uh, God an entrance <laughs> and a tag team partner. We uh, we we've, we've gone through Katie Vick. We've, we've, we've made through... out with Trish Stratus instead of the owner's <laughs> in front of the owner's wife. We've shocked Shane McMahon's balls with a car battery, mm-hmm. but we can't throw his kids off the hell in a cell. <sighs> Missed opportunity. It's politics, man. <sighs> they might be saving it for mania. <laughs> no, I, I really do. I've learned that I really think Shane McMahon is hitting peak Vince McMahon. Uh, like he's just following in his father's footsteps. Because maybe Kevin Owens is his stone cold. But when Vince was starting to get crazy and started wrestling all the time, Shane seems to be like getting old enough to hit right into where Vince was doing that. Mm-hmm. So, oh boy, I don't know. No chance. What would you do if he didn't come back? What Shane? Shane, yeah. What would we do? Yeah, if he he Just came back and like revitalized have, the whole have SmackDown brand. Oh, 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 in like general, I thought completely full time. When he came, when he came back, <laughs> that's true. Have Vince's other son become the commissioner? You would see more Stephanie. Wait, you guys want wait. to see more Stephanie? Wait, Vince's other son? Is there a like a, yeah. a, a hidden son? Like there's the, the, the Hornswoggle. Is, oh, Chad Gable. I thought you were saying there's like like there's the Osborne that was Kennedy, that nobody knows like, about because she oh, wasn't no. on the show. <laughs> no, yeah. Hornswoggle. Yeah. Hornswoggle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just think you'd be seeing more Stephanie if Shane didn't come back. Do you really want to see Stephanie on her TV every week? More Triple H? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Haven't we seen mm-hmm. nothing? No, no, no. What was it? Grandpa Triple H we were calling him now. He, the Iron Man Triple H. Iron he, Man he Triple looks H? Like, uh, he looks like the villain oh, from right, Iron Man right, 1. Right, 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 right. Um, um, Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Yeah. Jeff Bridges Triple H. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. yeah. He, he's just going to come out in the Iron Monger. And, uh... <laughs> that, that's his next entrance. That's, that's probably, entrance. Yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah. his next WrestleMania entrance. Iron Monger. <laughs> Tony! <laughs> I was right here, Tony. Uh, Larry, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh, I don't know, Sorg. Um, Spectre Gadget Watch. <laughs> I uh, I uh, don't know what I learned, but I know what I've never seen before. I've never seen somebody do a superplex into the um into into a lucha into, <laughs> into a pit of cruiserweights before, <laughs> like outside well, of the ring. Obviously, you haven't been to enough indie shows. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting to see. Yes, yes, that was that, that was a pretty good. They, they got a good holy shit chant at the yeah. end of Raw, like at, for that Raw. It was the perfect match for yes. the show. Mm-hmm. So, it was a good role. If nothing mm-hmm. else, I think that was nothing but good for the Cruiserweight division. Uh, to a follow five, eh, but Cruiserweight <clears> division <throat> and Raw, very good. Riz, what'd you learn? I learned that the best entrance music is no entrance music. <laughs> <laughs> like between uh, Dolph Ziggler and uh, R Truth, that those just dead silence is amazing. Like R Truth when he when he did Little Jimmy's. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know we were going that far back for this. We went, we went that far, Sorg. Happy little trees. Happy little trees. Sorry, I noticed we got back there. 
Um, anyways, <laughs> there he is. Uh, Chad, Rev. I learned that if I want free WWE Network, I just use Chad's email, and <laughs> and I, I, I hopefully I will get it all the way through WrestleMania. There you go. There, you just, might. <laughs> just might. Just might. Uh, a good word from the chat. Alex M learned that Usher back and Dream is an amazing feud, and uh, Dante Fox isn't dead. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brandon learned that no matter what, best friends always stick together, even if they are going through a rough time with each other. F is for friends who do stuff together. Just there remember. You there you go. Matt Carlin's learned that three guys used to be enough to challenge the shield, but now you need at least four. Bobby got a long one. Bobby, what is this? Jeez. Bobby learned from a tweet that he saw that Tom Green, not that Tom Green, uh, Enzo is, is, is a juggalo, and if he instantly became rich. Wait, wait. Enzo Enzo is a juggalo if he instantly became rich. Also, Baron Corbin had the best promo on SmackDown tonight. I was laughing so hard my tears came coming down my face in which Baron took his boat and floated away. What? Jeez. I missed that tonight. I'm sorry. We were watching Art of Ace Prof footage. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Um uh Matt and Mike, I'd rather wait, no. No, 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 that's not what he learned. That's his wishes for Shane McMahon I, never coming back. I, um, I do have a new thing that I learned. Mike learned oh that God. Blood and Ritz Mask are apparently an aphrodisiac. Uh, apparently, he caught up with Ultima Lucha last week. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh, by the way, uh, it, you know, we, we're really getting into I think we're just going to have a, a, a post kind of talk on Lucha Underground, I feel, on this show after the season in the next two weeks. Um, but I, I feel that, and, and, you know, when they did the script for, for, uh, Ultima Lucha, this is what I learned. I, when they did the script for Ultima Lucha, I think that Krista Joseph, friend of the show, right across the type, the top of it, there will be blood. And that'll kind of give you an idea of how <laughs> these have been going the last two weeks. So, um, and also they did the War is Hell match with Dante Fox and, uh, Killshot. And uh, there was a little bit of, like, how the fuck do they top this for the next three weeks? Well, week two <laughs> topped it. Uh, and part of that as well. Um, also, is there any more? <coughs> it, did, I think that's all of them here. Yeah, that's what I learned. Did you say, was there something else? Yeah. Yes. I, I learned that um, with uh, Cesaro's new Count Chocula lisp that he has going on. <laughs> that they haven't fixed yet. <laughs> He is progressing perfectly for some brood gimmick. A brood gimmick? Some brood gimmick, yeah. A brood gimmick. Great. Yeah. Um <laughs> guys, Swing. it's been it's been a lot of fun. A Lucha Underground eulogy will maybe be coming soon, says Matt Carlins. If we don't <laughs> hear any announcement or anything like that, we're gonna try to get uh De Joseph back on uh after the show uh finishes airing to uh to see, you know, see what we can get out of him. Week three, we bring those fuckers back for more. Wait, wait, who just posted <laughs> that as Mayhem Show? <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, uh, guys, uh, Rev, thanks yes. for joining us here. There you are. You know what? I'm glad to be here. I'm glad the fire didn't hold me back. I didn't mm-hmm. start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. And uh, I'm finally in the house. It's good to be here. I like this couch. There you go. Where can we, people find you online? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Just type in the Rev Ron Hunt. You can also find me at RWA. Our next show is October 21st for Bloody Harvest. And it's definitely going to be bloody. That's why I have my red on right now. And uh, one last thing that I learned, never bring your mother to an indie wrestling event. <laughs> um, bad things may happen. Bad things may happen. Yeah, and yeah, uh, you can yeah. find that out later wow wow uh chad the shad yeah yeah <laughs> you could find me online All the at, internets at chad the shad doing that hanging Anywhere. out in the mayhem show group yeah uh, yeah petting the petting the enzo yep. cat spear spear, <laughs> spear, spear, spear. spear. there you go wear my hall of fame ed shirt tonight there you go good, so, good to spear be with you <laughs> and on to you <laughs> 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 Oh, Larry, Larry, Larry's kind of on the internet. He has people for that. See ya. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see ya. Sometimes he pops in for some of the other shows too. So <clears throat> thank you for joining us again, Larry. Producer Missy, we see your shoulder. Hello. Hello. She's at she's at wife of the show on Twitter. If you want to hit her up, 
You're getting rid of that? Rebellious oh, Flaw on boo. Twitter and also on the Instagram as well. Uh, and uh, The Riz yes. has things. I have things. And actually, if you go to Riz Play, if you go to the twitch.tv slash Riz Plays Games right now, I'm hosting you guys. I'm hosting us right now. Oh, you're hosting us you guys, over there. You guys can hear me talk about me on another podcast on my on your channel channel on... where I play video games. There you for... go, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate resturbation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. I'm all right, Sorg. Thanks for, you know. That that's great. That's your hashtag for the show. That's gonna be my hashtag now. That's your hashtag. Hashtag kick the door down. Like um, make a T-shirt and everything. Uh, cars, get right on that for me, please. There you go. There you go. I mean, I know, I know it's. I know you're doing something for you know breast cancer awareness, but just make my shirt, please. There you go. There you go. Um, I don't know how to follow it up. At Sorgatron on the Twitter. Thank you, everybody, in the chat room, rock and chat room, and we here do this every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. In the coming weeks, we got some friends of the show, longtime friends of the show, returning some compatriots of the Rev, including Super Hentai. Yes, will be in mm-hmm. here. Good man. There you go. He might be just headbutting the door down, as well. <laughs> right? That's what he does for a living. Is <laughs> headbutt people. <laughs> Among, I, had a, I had a joke for that, but I got among, among, among other things. Among other things. <laughs> yes, maybe we'll get into that as well. And of course, Marshall the Bull Gambino, who just punches people for a living. <laughs> <laughs> if they like it or not, he does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whether whether it's it's he's <sighs> supposed to or not, it just kind of happens. Yeah. Um, there yeah. you go. We almost got stabbed that night. Well, you did almost story. get stabbed that night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, we came on here talking about. I mean, the first time we had him on, he was talking about how they got they got a police escort out of town yeah. uh, in some town in like pro- actually probably West Virginia. It'll, uh, it'll 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 happen. We have uh, we have some threats for the next one, so we're uh, we're we're taken care of. We're taken care of. Hashtag Red Rod Hunt from the, from uh, Mad Mike, <laughs> and also the final resolution. There you go. <laughs> I, can, I can deal with that. There you go. Uh, thank you, everybody in the chat room. Thank you, thank you, everybody online. Thank everybody uh, in the Mayhem Nation uh, sharing this, patreoning us, and uh, digging this and liking it and everything like that. Join the conversation. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, stay tuned for Indie Mayhem Show and Midweek Wars later in the week. Watch out on the Facebook for a lot of those uh, broadcasts. Join the conversation. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.